Hello everyone, I'm here today to show you how to set the date and time on a Mac computer for the new Mini Magnetic Voice Recorder. So the first thing we want to do is open up a text edit program and create a new document. Then we're going to go ahead and insert the date and time as seen above here. So we'll start by going year, month, day, hour, minutes, seconds. After we've done the seconds, we do have a little sequence that we need to put in here. So you'll notice I'm putting a capital E and then 13 of the number zeros. After that, we'll do a space, capital T, and 10 of the number zeros. After that's been input, we'll go ahead and hit file on the top left and save it. We do need to save this as a specific name, so you'll see here that I'm going to save it as date underscore time dot cfg. The dot cfg is very important. Make sure you do click off the no extension there and hit save. Once that's been saved, we're going to go ahead and go into our finder application and actually locate the drive just to confirm it did save there properly. And just for confirmation's sake, you can always right click and then hit get info to confirm it did actually hold that .cfg and didn't apply like a .txt or something along those lines. So as long as that's good to go there, we can close this down. We'll go ahead and eject it from the computer and test to see if we got an accurate date and time. So I went ahead and did that. I made a couple recordings here, plugged it back in and let's see what we got. So we'll go into our voice folder and bam so it did take the accurate date and time here and then briefly i do just show you how to delete the files so there's two different ways that you can go about doing it you can either drag and drop it straight into the trash bin as you'll see here or you can right click and move it to trash do keep in mind that anytime you're deleting information you always have to empty your trash bin and of course if you did appreciate the content don't forget to like and subscribe